Welcome back to the Python tutorial series. I'm so glad you're here. This is the 31st video in the series, and today we will go over how to use matrix operations in Python with NumPy. We will first introduce a two dimensional array and then compare it with matrix. Then we will write code that performs matrix operations. The timestamps are in the description below. So let's get started. I created a file called arrayinmatrix.py and will use the numpy library, so I'll import that here. I'll then create a 2 by 3 array, that means it has 2 rows and 3 columns. I can then print array 1, and when I print that, I will get an array that's 2 by 3. And there you go. I can also print the shape of array1 by printing array1.shape, and that will say 2,3 since it's 2 rows and 3 columns. I can also print the size of array1 by doing array1.size, and when I run this I will get 6 because there's 6 elements in the array. I could also make the array 1 dimensional by doing array1 equals array1.flatten. So this will make the entire array one line, and when I run this, it will all be on one row. I can also reshape the array to make it three rows and two columns. So now when I run this, it will organize it into three rows and two columns, as you see right here. So now that I've been talking about arrays, you may be wondering, what exactly is a matrix? Well, I'll create a variable called matrix1 and set that equal to matrix, which is stored in NumPy, and then array1. So it's going to convert this array to a matrix. And then I can print matrix1. And when I run this, this will look very similar to an array. You can't tell the difference, but it is different. A matrix is like an array, but it has a lot more functionalities. And now let's dive into that. I created a file called matrix operations and imported NumPy. I'm then going to create a variable called matrix1 and set that equal to matrix like before, but this time I'm going to make it 2 by 2. And I can leave a space in between and that will make sure that it stays on the same row. And I can go to the next row by putting a semicolon. So this is a 2 by 2 matrix. I'm going to create another matrix called matrix 2. And I'll put a comma in between the values. If you put a comma, it keeps it in the same row. And you can use a semicolon like before to go to the next row. I can then print matrix 1 and matrix 2 like before and it will work and there you have it i can also add the two matrices together like i can with an array so i'll create a variable called addition and set that equal to matrix 1 plus matrix 2 and then i will print that as you see below you get the sum which is 3 15 3 and negative 9 but what makes matrices different than arrays is multiplication and division. If you want to multiply the two matrices together, first you need to make sure that the number of columns in the first matrix is the same as the number of rows in the second. And that is true here as you see. Then, in order to multiply them, you don't multiply them element by element. You multiply them by row and column. For example, in the top left here, we're multiplying the first row and the first column together. So 2 times 1 and 6 times 3. And then here we're multiplying the first row and the second column. So that's how multiplication works with matrices. So jumping back to the program, I can now create a variable called multiplication and set that equal to matrix 1 times matrix 2. And then I will print it. And as you see, we get the values 20, negative 6, negative 15, and 20 because it multiplied the rows and columns together. 
That's what makes a matrix different from an array. You can multiply rows and columns together, and you cannot do that with an array. And the same goes with division. And that's an overview of matrices. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to follow along with this video series by subscribing and hitting the notification bell or by clicking on the next video so that you can expand your knowledge about Python. And as always, I can't wait to see you next time.